In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. All right, so here we've got a question which reads like this. It says, prove that cos square a plus cos square of a plus pi by 3 plus cos square of a minus pi by 3 equals 3 by 2. So we got to prove that this part is equal to 3 by 2. And let me tell you before I start the problem that it's all about remembering the formulas, all that we've learned in the previous videos. So what we're going to do now is, since, you know, we just need two with these all the costs we need two so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply and divide this by two right let's just take the left hand side lhs equals let's just multiply and divide the lhs by two that doesn't change anything so half and then multiplied by two so two times cos square a is two cos square a you'll know why i'm doing this plus again two cos square of a plus pi by three plus 2 cos square of a minus pi by 3, all right? So now, 2 cos square a, what is 2 cos square a? So let me change the kind of the bracket that I'm using. So 2 cos square a is nothing but 1 plus cos 2a. 1 plus cos 2a is 2 cos square a. So here we've got 2 cos square a. We'll write it as 1 plus cos 2a, all right? So, Otherwise, we couldn't have got it. If we, if we need simply 1 plus cos a, then it should have been a by 2. Only because of this 2, we could convert this into 1 plus cos 2a. Why convert this? You'll know in a bit. Now, 2 cos square of a plus pi by 3. What is that? It's nothing but 2 cos square a again. Consider this whole thing is a. It will be 1 plus cos 2a. A is the whole angle. So, 2 times a is 2a. And 2 times pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3. Plus this one, the same thing, 2 cos square a is nothing but 1 plus cos 2a. So it's going to be 1 plus cos 2a is this whole angle. So it'll be 2a minus 2 pi by 3. The brackets, of course. This comes under the bigger bracket. So now what we're going to do is, let's add all the ones up. So we're going to get 1 plus 1 plus 1. It's going to be 3. Let's write 3 plus cos 2a should be written as it is. Plus we have cos of 2a plus 2 pi by 3 plus cos of 2a minus 2 pi by 3. Well, you got to dig a little more deeper to remember this formula that I'm going to use now. So this is of the form cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Remember that? So now we're going to keep cos 2a as cos 2a and then this is nothing but 2 cos a cos b. So it's going to be 2 cos 2a that is, you know, this is the form cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So that is nothing but 2 cos a cos b. Cos b is nothing but 2 pi by 3. So what's the next step now? The next step is retain the half as it is. We have 3 plus cos 2a plus 2 cos 2a. But what is cos 2 pi by 3? 2 pi by 3 is nothing but, let me substitute 2 into 180 divided by 3. So 3 goes 60 times. So it's cos of 120 degrees. What is cos of 120 degrees? Cos of 120 degrees equals, you know, you can write it as cos of 90 plus 30. 90 plus 30 lies in the second quadrant. And the second quadrant is positive for sine and cosecant only, not for cos. So it's going to be negative. 90 is going to change, right? So cos will become sine and it's sine 30. So minus sine 30 is minus half. So 2 cos 2a and then cos of 2 by 3 is minus 1 by 2. So I'm going to write minus 1 by 2 here. And 2 and 2 is going to get cancelled. And if you can see, it's going to become half of 3 plus cos 2a cos 2a into negative 1 is minus cos 2a, right? So cos 2a and negative cos 2a gets cancelled and it's half into 3. Half into 3 is nothing but 3 by 2, RHS. So this is how we proved. So if you can just go back and wonder why we did all the things, let me give you a clear explanation now. Now, without multiplying by 2 here, you know, we couldn't have changed this into something like this, 1 plus cos 2a. The reason to change this was eventually to get to this form where it is cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b, which is going to lead us to 2 cos a cos b. 
and then you know finally get some standard value use that then you know what happens then so that's how you solve this another thing well you know a lot of practice is going to get you here otherwise if you just do it once and understand it may not help you you may forget it soon enough so you need to like really really practice these kind of problems take at least a dozen problems like these and practice them and yeah then you can be sure that you know what the problem is all about so that ends this problem as well as this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and sub multiple angles Thank you.